Dog or cat's on the exam table. You look across that exam table to the owner. I want you to tell the owner this. I want you to tell the owner these fleas on your dog or cat came from flea eggs laid in your house one to two months ago. What are they going to tell you? Not at my house. My dog didn't have fleas last month. So apparently they think they got here by spontaneous generation. Okay? What you need to tell them is these fleas on your dog or cat came from pupa, which came from larva, which came from eggs laid when? Yeah. 85 to 90% of the population starts emerging within three to eight weeks, so one to two months ago. They don't know that. Pet owners never see the first one or two fleas their dog or cat acquires. By the time they've showed up, it's too late. By the time they've walked into your practice, that biomass is already there. So what's happening in these homes is these dogs or cats are acquiring a couple fleas. It takes at least male and male and one female. That female starts laying eggs, and the client is totally unaware this is going on. They're totally unaware that there's a couple fleas on their dog or cat, and that female flea is laying eggs. Maybe even after a week or so, that, that dog or cat has killed that female flea by biting and chewing and groomed it off. But then you've all, you, you still have eggs and larvae in the carpet, and they start percolating along, and then you have the pupae. And about you know, three to four weeks later, whatever it is, you ha start to have some fleas emerge. They, start, they jump back on the animal. Within 24 hours, they're doing what? They're laying eggs again. And then, and it, but at some point, this pet owner goes, my God, I see fleas. And they bring the pet to you, and they want the problem over when? N yesterday, right? No, it's too late. It's too late. By the time they showed up, that biomass is already there. 